children to get married will face jail as the government plans to make it a criminal offence. David Cameron says forced marriage is abhorrent and little more than slavery. Marie Staunton is chief executive from the charity Plan UK and joins us live now from central London. Good afternoon to you. Um, do you think that this law is necessary at this point in time? Necessary but not sufficient because no child should be in the position of being forced into marriage. And if your child and your parents are about to force you to get married to somebody you don't want to get married to, the first person you're going to talk to is your friend at school. So the main thing is prevention, that schools, that friends, that people know what to do to prevent forced marriages. And therefore, we really welcome the package Theresa May has put forward to make sure that in every area there's somebody who can train social workers, teachers, schools as to what to do when a child comes to you and says, I'm being forced to get married. And at the moment, in the UK, there are perhaps up to about 8,000 children every year this happens to. Worldwide, where Plan works, we work in 50 countries worldwide, there are about 10 million girls who are forced into marriage. But there is a, a worry that this law could have an adverse effect in that uh, young people will be very, very worried about criminalising their parents and therefore wouldn't come forward with the necessary information. Yes, that is a real concern to put young people in that position, although in Denmark, where, where criminalisation was introduced, it didn't deter children. In the countries where we work, it hasn't done. But it, it means that the most important thing is that children feel they can use the civil law to get an enforced marriage order and that they're able to go to somebody who can help them to prevent this happening. And we've done a whole resource for schools which takes children, young people and teachers through what to do to avoid this happening. And we're really pleased that the government is also working with local communities on the types of programmes that plan introduces throughout the world to start that debate among communities about why it's bad for children to get married too young, too early when they don't want to. Now there is a, a forced uh, marriage act which is already uh, implemented. Why is that not sufficient? Um, the, there's a forced marriage act uh, under which you as a child or a third party can get a, a forced marriage order from the courts which says which really protects, is a restraining order to stop the marriage uh, happening. But unfortunately, it's very little known. Um, certainly in schools, most schools don't know anything about it. So if girls or boys disappear from the classroom, uh, they don't know that they perhaps should be doing something to safeguard these children. Um, and so everybody working in this area, Plan largely works overseas in 50 countries on this area, but also the local UK organisations have been saying more needs to be done. There was uh, an inquiry uh, by Parliament which said more needs to be done, more help needs to be given to these children. We need to put more resources into stopping this happening because if a girl gets married too young, whether it's in the UK or overseas, then she's more likely to suffer difficulties in childbirth, she's more likely to drop out of school, she's more likely to be subject to violence. So action is needed and we welcome the fact that the government is looking at prevention, um, which to us is the single most important thing before even prosecution. Now this of course is an issue that affects uh, certain communities, a, a cultural issue some might say. It is quite important to make the distinction between uh, marriages of consent, arranged marriages of consent and forced marriages, isn't it? Yes, because an arranged marriage, whether it's arranged by a dating agency or your parents, is something that you're voluntarily doing. Yes, I, I want to get married. A forced marriage is when there's duress on a child or young person, when they're saying, I don't want to do that, and they're being pressured under duress for doing it. So the law is very clear. And as you say, forced marriage happens not just in the UK but other countries, but country after country are introducing laws against forced marriage and there's a big global campaign against forced marriage led by Nelson Mandela and others. So this is one part of really a global movement to stop children being married much too young against their will. And if people want to join that, they can click uh, on the plan website and join Take the Vow and put their names down. And if you're a 
teacher or somebody who has a friend who may be first facing forced marriage, look on the Plan UK website and there's a free resource that teachers and schools can use to prevent forced marriage. And as you say, arranged marriage is something completely separate. That's uh, when actually the child is consenting. We're talking only here about marriages under duress where the child is saying, no, I don't want to get married. Bruce Horton from Plan UK, some useful uh, advice and information there. Thank you very much. Thank you.